Well, my guess is that we're uh, going to have markets for a long time to come. The, um, the 20th century was a uh, exercise in seeing if there are any real huge alternatives to market-based economies. And the evidence would be that they don't work too well. The question is not whether or not we have markets. The question is how and how much we're going to shape them, what the power of democracy to regulate the workings of, of our economy is going to turn out to be. We spent the last 20 years pretending that we don't need to do anything at all, that markets by themselves solve problems. Um, but that's clearly not true, at least with the biggest problems we face, climate change being the, the most powerful example. Uh, markets are powerless against it because they have no information about it. We haven't used our government to make the price of carbon reflect the damage that it does in the world. And hence, markets, capitalism, are powerless to do anything to grapple with it. You know, they're as innocent of it as a baby. Um, um, and so, the one of the roles of one of the roles of our democracy, of all of us working together uh, in this century, has got to be to make markets um, to hem markets in so that they reflect the other very urgent social and political necessities of our time. All we've asked of markets, all we've asked of capitalism, all we've asked of our economy is that it get bigger. And so that's what it's geared to do at the moment. But we're at a point where getting bigger is no longer very useful. And where we have to start thinking about other goals, durability, and whether or not we're generating any human satisfaction or not out of the huge economy that we've built. Those two things are above all political. Uh, you know, and that's what we've got to start concentrating on and stop pretending that by itself a bigger economy solves all problems.